recently adopted this rabbit and whenever we get a new rabbit we like to do a health check on them make sure that everything looks good and honestly when we went to go pick up this rabbit we saw her and it really didn't look that great the cage setup was not wonderful and she honestly just wasn't looking too healthy she had a lot of mats on the back side of her she had ear mites, really long nails, as well as some sore hocks. And all of these things are not super great. And we just felt so bad that we still had to take her. We wanted to fix her up and make sure that she got a new home that was a much better setting for her. Upon doing this, we did want to talk a little bit about sore hocks and how you can actually fix them in case your rabbit has them or you do come across a rabbit that does have sore hocks. I'm Danielle of the Spinaro Homestead and welcome to our channel. We bring you new content twice a week so that you can learn more about homesteading and living a more self-sustainable lifestyle. And today we're talking about sore hocks. Now, sore hocks can derive from a few different things. First off, sore hawks are usually going to be genetic, which means that if your rabbit has them, it's most likely due to the fact that one of their parents had them. And if your rabbit is prone to sore hawks, then you might want to think twice before actually breeding them into any of their offspring because this can trickle down into any of their offspring. Now, if they are only getting it a little bit, if you get your rabbit once and they do have this, it could be due to the fact of what their cages are like. We use wire cages at our homestead and people do debate against flat bottom cages versus wire cages. Wire cages, if you do have them, you can prevent sore hawks by having resting areas or resting pads that your rabbits can go on. And I'll include a link down below of some of the pads that we use. You can also just use a tile and this way they have somewhere to rest off of the wire. Some people will also do flat bottom cages and a flat bottom cage can be really great, although they do need to be cleaned quite often. You really don't want their waste to build up on there because it can get all over your rabbits. Your rabbits aren't really going to notice that they're laying in a pile of waste and then it's just gonna create a really dirty rabbit with some mats and it's just not gonna be great. So that's why we don't really like to use them, but a lot of people are starting to do colony type settings for their rabbits or using those and they have found them very fun. Before we talk about how to actually treat sore hawks, let's talk a little bit about what it is. In its simplest form, sore hawks are going to be sores that are on the bottom feet of your rabbit due to the rubbing of the cage, specifically if they are on wire or a cage with a bottom and they're just rubbing on that a lot because usually they'd be outside in the grass or the dirt. So when you do domesticate a rabbit, this can be a common occurrence for them. And there are really two ways that we will treat this at our homestead. The first one is just using Preparation H. You can use this. I've definitely heard of others that have used this, but today we're going to do a more multi-step process that has really great results. And we'll include all of the items down below, but the first step is really going to be grabbing your rabbits and we'll probably use a towel here. It's gonna be best if we have about two people to work with this, so I'll call over Chris so he can help me set up the rabbit and we'll walk through the steps of how to actually do this. First what we're going to do is take some bandages that are sticky. They stick, stick to each other and we'll cut off about six inches. We'll cut a little cut in the front, leave about two inches and then cut from the other side. Next what we're going to do is we're going to apply some antibiotic ointments and some of the blue coat on your rabbits. Now definitely watch out here because it does, it's pretty intense when it sprays. So I'll dry a little bit and we'll take our bandage and the short side is going to go around the foot. The longer cut pieces are going to go up the leg. Wrap it up, don't do it too tight 
and there you go. Once you've gone ahead and done these steps, then you can put your rabbit back in their cage, check on them, make sure that everything is good, and continue doing this until the sore hawks are gone. Wish you the best of luck with your rabbit and their sore hawks. Hopefully it goes away soon. And if you are interested in more rabbit content, then check out some of these videos here. I'll see you next time. Bye.